automation capabilities of PowerCLI allows administrators to manage vSphere distributed switches by using custom scripts. Configuring each aspect of the vSphere distributed switch requires just a few lines of PowerCLI code. You can use code examples as templates and create custom scripts by combining multiple code examples and modifying the parameter values according to your needs. In this video, you will see examples of creating a vSphere distributed switch, adding hosts to the switch, creating distributed port groups, creating VM kernel network adapters, backing up a vSphere distributed switch configuration, and then restoring it. The first step is to create a vSphere distributed switch. In this example, you specify the data center you want to use as the location where the vSphere distributed switch will be created, and then define the name, version, maximum number of ports, and link discovery protocol settings. Next, you can add hosts to the created vSphere distributed switch. This example will add two hosts. When you create distributed port groups, you can optionally specify either the VLAN ID or the VLAN trunk range. VLAN ID values can be integers in the range of 1 to 4094. This example creates a new distributed port group on the MyVD switch, vSphere distributed switch, with eight ports and a VLAN ID of four. VLAN trunk range values can be strings representing ranges of IDs. This example creates another distributed port group on the same vSphere distributed switch with the specified name and VLAN trunk range settings. When creating VM kernel network adapters, you can also enable features such as vMotion and fault tolerance. This example creates a new VM kernel network adapter, connects it to the specified port group on the MyVD switch, vSphere distributed switch, and enables vMotion. This example creates a new VM kernel network adapter, connects it to a specified port on the MyVD switch, vSphere distributed switch, and enables fault tolerance logging. Having now configured your vSphere distributed switch, you can back up the existing configuration as an archive. This example exports the configuration of the MyVD switch vSphere distributed switch and its port groups to the specified file. You can use the backup to restore the settings of your vSphere distributed switch. This example reconfigures the MyVD switch vSphere distributed switch by importing the specified backup profile. Alternatively, you can create another vSphere distributed switch that is configured identically to the existing one. This example creates a new vSphere distributed switch by importing the specified backup profile. However, it does so without recreating the original port groups. As you can see, managing vSphere distributed switches with PowerCLI can save you time and reduce human error. For more examples of PowerCLI scripts for host configuration, see the PowerCLI commandlet reference. To learn more about PowerCLI and other VMware products, visit pubs.vmware.com.